Welcome back to Dooley Squat Gaming, where today we are planning on taking the Dan all the way down to repair the pier. So first we have to drop off the oversized cargo. And as you can see, it, it's it's a weird it's a weird truck to say the least. So I'm gonna try it out. And we're gonna see how well it does. It's it's odd that the uh, the weight of the uh, the hitch is actually behind the back wheels. Uh, it's it's very strange to me. I don't understand that. Why would you not center them? Center the weight between the two wheels. I mean that's how that's how weight works. But for whatever reason. This is the design, so we're going to see how well it does. And yeah, it's a, it's a weird design for a truck. That's all I got to say. Like, the, the overhang is in, immensely strange. It, it's like things, the, the wheelbase wasn't big enough for the truck. But we've, uh, we've got the, uh, oh, now I forget what tire they are. Crap. I want to say the MHS fours on here. Uh, they actually outperformed uh, the original mud tires that we were using. So I went ahead and throw threw these on. And actually, you know what? Let me get the names of those because I don't. I feel like that's unfair to you. <laughs> uh, so let's jump into the Azov. So if we. Uh, do, 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 detach trailer and then we might as well we can just recover this so basically what we have here are the MHS fours and then our original tires that we loved so much were the MHS ones so uh no those weren't the ones Twos. That this is this is one that we we always used, uh, but I did some testing, and I actually have a video that I'm supposed to post online. I'm not sure if I like it or not, so that's why I haven't put it up yet. But maybe I, I'll throw it up. Uh, but these tires actually outperform these tires by a huge margin because these tires got stuck in our mud, and these tires, although were slow getting through it they never got stuck so uh i've switched those tires on uh that truck and then the dan just to kind of see if i prefer these tires or not so um unfortunately i don't have a side-by-side -side comparison i should really be using the uh the ads all for this just to just to show um, and have, you know, I've been using the other tires on that truck for quite a bit, so switching to a new truck and then trying different tires doesn't really help. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, these things seem to be doing okay. You know, they're not too bad. They don't, they don't look like they should be that great. Um, the pattern's very basic. It almost looks like a tire off of a older, you know, 1930s or 1940s truck versus something that's been designed in, in a lab. But hey, maybe simple is, is uh, in this case, better. Yeah, you never know. But uh, chances are it's just the developers using... Um, not the best way to uh, judge tires, I guess. Like really, it should come down to your tread depths and and your your size of your. Um, I forgot what that is. The the spots between the treads, um, not the gullets. Oh, I forgot the name of them, but you know what I mean. <laughs> really, there's a bunch of things that should be factored in, and I think they just factored in whatever they felt like factoring in. I don't know if they had any actual real-world testing behind it. 
But yeah, as you can see, we can actually get through a lot of this mud. It's just, it's so weird. <laughs> this truck is strange to me. Like, I, I look at it and it looks like we're losing our, our trailer. There we go. That should get us through here. Got a feeling this is going to be a slow and steady race through here. I throw in high gear. That's doing all right. Very weird to see the um, drive axle on top of the frame. But you know what? It gets it done. It gets everything up and lifted. But it also makes it very high s uh, center of balance. So uh, it's, it's one of those fine lines between do you have enough ground clearance versus center of weight being too high and the vehicle becomes tippy. Doing pretty well. I, I like the tires. Yeah, they're they're not too bad at all. Or at least I think I do. Maybe it's the truck. I don't know. I know this isn't a lot of people's favorite truck. But Aww. Uh, are going down this way I believe. Yeah I'm pretty sure this is just straight. Straight on through. There's <laughs> nothing uh there's no special turnoffs or anything. You just kinda follow this road straight down. Come on logs. Get there. There we go. Yeah it's kinda funny because these tires actually don't say they're they they say they're only good in mud. Seeing on how they outperformed in my test, I'm kind of baffled by that. Uh, we need to. Oh, it's not. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to. Uh, try to crawl our way out of this mud puddle. Why is it not letting- there we go. I feel those trees were in my range and it wasn't letting me attach to them. There's the turning radius of death there. Does this truck not have a great turning radius? It probably doesn't. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Glad I, glad I looked. <laughs> I was thinking we went straight down and it's just the road turned into where we had to go. But no, we have to take the side route here. And that should take care of things. Now it's a straight shot. Oh, 
Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, uh, that's convenient. Let's, uh, I think this might be the first time I have to do this. Again, it's not giving me the winch point for... Why am I not getting the winch point for the pole? I'm clearly in it. Ah, la dee da dee da. Okay, well... You know what? Let's pick that point. See if we can't get ourselves unstuck. Yeah, like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I've never had a pull that hasn't given me a winch point. Alright, anyways, we should be able to do it with now. Yeah, that is so weird. Alright, so, screw that rock, get that thing out of the way. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, we gotta go this way, and then might as well start turning now. Oh, what? I do not remember there being a watchtower here. Oh well, that's okay. <laughs> not the first time I've come across a watchtower that I haven't recognized. All right, there we go. Let's get that dropped off, and then we need concrete slab. So let's jump Oops, back to, I believe the Azov is probably going to be what we're going to use. I am going to opt to take the crane off. Where is it? Loading crane. We're going to take that off. We're going to save some weight. Because that... Although... The... Other trucks, that tends to lower the power to weight ratio. It's okay. We'll leave it off. We don't need it. Uh, we're going to leave the garage. Now we got to go all the way... Where the quarry? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know what? I think it's about time we go down in the quarry. And I also think we might borrow this trailer here. So let's uh let's start moving. Now this truck does have the uh, the new tire, the quote unquote better tire. And uh. Mm -hmm. Hard to say, but that was pretty quick. That wasn't that wasn't too bad at all, so. Okay, we need to Okay, go down here. Perfect. This doesn't look like it would be too bad. I need to I need to get over my fear of going into the quarry. And hopefully I can do that. We should have plenty of gas. Unless we get stuck. Mm. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did that pretty simple easily too, so... Simply? Is that a word? I was gonna say simply. And I don't, I don't think that's a word. Uh, did I go the right way? Yeah, I think we gotta scoot across to this road. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, kind of. We gotta go down there and... Wow, this is complicated to get into. I mean, that's, that's going to be pure hell to get out of. That's okay. Um, oops. Yeah, there's a stump there. Seriously. Seriously. There's two stumps there. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Come on, where's my marker? We that stuck. Wow. Good job. Like <laughs> We are threaded. Game you developers, you got me. Alright, let's recover. We'll, uh... I, I hope I'm going back to the... Yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to try that again. Well, let's try this again, and let's try not to uh, get stuck on really... <laughs> insignificant things like tree stumps. So let's swing by. Oh, we gotta pick up our trailer there. I think I'm just going to, uh. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to use this trailer. If we can pull out the other one with a winch, it should follow behind us. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. We've got our new. Oh, wow. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh well, <laughs> just a just a little bit of damage, and uh, I could I could repair that. Uh, but let's just go for it. It was only six uh, damage points, so no biggie. There's our wonderful glitch there again. So good to see that that's still a. Uh, a fun little issue. <clears throat> and yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into the quarry. We're gonna. We're gonna just get over our fear. We're gonna do it, and hopefully we don't get stuck on uh, tree stumps again. <clears throat> do let's skip that scene. We've seen it. Uh, I don't know, a hundred times already. Probably, maybe, maybe not a hundred. Dozens of times there. That's a that's a safe assumption. And yeah, hopefully this will be a short trip. I mean, like I said, I've never gone in the quarries. I I kind of despise the quarries. I have the nightmare nightmares over them with uh, from Michigan. So I tend to uh, try to stay away from the quarries. <clears throat> but you know what? We're gonna get over our fear today. We're gonna do it. We're not going to get stuck. And uh, eh, there's a good chance we'll probably roll over still. So, But let's find... I believe this is where I screwed up last time because I took that path. And I tried cutting through. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I now remember. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> let's back out real quick. We'll go straight through this mud. We can try these new tires, too. We haven't really used them. They were on the Dan. And they seem to do well there. So... 
Uh, this really doesn't count because that's a pretty light mud puddle there. And we're not loaded down, so we don't have that extra weight to uh, slow us down, so. <clears throat> Alright, so we're a tenth of a mile away. No oh, turn! Okay, wait, stop. <laughs> I don't really want to try that mud puddle out. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should just go for it. Who knows how deep it is. We could end up completely belly up, which would probably be more likely the case. Uh, we gotta figure out a path to get down. See, this is where we cut through. So I'm gonna analyze every little spot before we go through here. I... I'm actually gonna cut through here. There's stump there, there's a stump there. And then we can go straight down this hill. <clears throat> oh my god, this is why I'm so paranoid. Uh, where is the actual pickup? I'm trying to do two things at once. See, technically... Does that drive all the way around? I guess it would come up over there. So yeah, we could, we could try this. We can come down here. The trailer can do whatever it wants. As long as the truck doesn't roll over, the trailer will follow. They definitely, definitely did this on purpose, having the, uh, the angles all wrong to make it harder to get in and out of this pit. This is why I'm traumatized. I'm glad I'm an adult and I'm not under the age of 18 because I will, I would always go through life being petrified of these places. Uh, I never, I never want to come down these places. I never do. Uh, but I guess I'm, I'm wiser now. I know uh, what I can and cannot do. Now I could have just used that trailer to pick up the, uh, the concrete slabs, and then we could return it, and make some money. But I don't think if we do this. That. Um, that's really going to slow us down at all. Maybe I should grab it on the way up. Which way do I want to go up? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to grab it on the way up. Oh, crap. There's a telephone pole there. Thank you for putting it there. There are no wires, though. So, I mean, I guess we, we get to play that game of why are there no wires between these telephone poles? <laughs> I mean, they could have been stripped and stolen. That's, uh... That's probably a... Oh, don't tip over! Probably a very likely case. Alright, wheels are turned all the way. Alright. <clears throat> concrete slab, concrete slab. We have one more spot. Cannot get anything else from the quarry. That's good to know. You know, quarry just has concrete slabs. I'm sure we're going to need like 20 more of these things. The game does like you to uh, use the concrete slabs because then you're stuck going in the uh, these horrible, horrible quarries. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this does look a little bit wider of a turn. We may have to, we may have to do a couple of corrections, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look horrible. On. Okay, the trailer should roll over all that. That shouldn't be an issue. Try to get over here more. The other trailer may... It may just flip over a couple times. It may just crawl right up the uh, the face of the rock. 
Yeah, look at that. It's uh, it's doing a good job. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Also, didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're losing some sunlight, so we need to uh, hurry up and get out of here. <clears throat> I don't want to spend the night in the quarry. Actually, isn't isn't the quarry isn't that a video game where you're a uh, it's like a choose your own adventure video game? And there's I remember there was like it was almost like a, a horror video game genre where your decisions had you know, consequences and all that fun stuff, but something was chasing you. There's something in the woods that was trying to kill you and you're you're like one of ten counselors that are, you know, sixteen or seventeen at the time, you know. It's typical typical spin off of a uh, the eighties horror movies. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was called the quarry though. Let me know in the comments if that's what it was, because uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I never I never played it. It looks it looks pretty fun. It looked like it had a good story, so, you know, if anything, you could get lost in the story. Let's try to go left here. Yep, let's try not to honk at the rocks, because it's not their fault. Ooh. There we go, come on. Let's go on the low? There we go. Get some grip with low gear. Alright, I do have to say... Oops. Oh, roll backwards for me. Thank you. I do have to say, these tires are pretty impressive in dirt. The, uh, the stats really don't lie. I'm more interested to see what it can do through mud, which I think we're going to be able to see. Oh, what's the best route through here? I think we just give her. We'll just go straight through the mud and water. Maybe bump it up to low plus. I probably could put it back in auto. Maybe not. Maybe low plus. That way we're not shifting gears. Because the second we shift gears, we're... We're getting stuck. So even though this might be slower, overall, because of the gear shifting, it's faster. <laughs> Alright, and where do we gotta go? That's right, we gotta go all the way to the broken pier. Let's, yeah, let's go back to Zimogorsk. And then, we will figure out where we have to go from there. Chances are we'll drop the, uh, we'll drop the trailer off as well, we'll just leave the trailer, actually, where it is. And, uh, we'll get that traded back in for credit. Possibly a new game. Yeah, that was, that was pretty, that was pretty sad of a, <laughs> a joke there. Pretty lame attempt of pretending that we're, uh, <clears throat> at GameStop trading in our games for, uh, store credit to buy a new one. I wish I'd never... I wish that place never opened because I would have all my old games still and I'd be able to just pop them in and play them. Anyways, let's uh, let's get back. We're uh, back on asphalt. We're good to go. Quarry, not that bad. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I did that one pretty well. You do have to go the long way, so when in doubt, go the long way because it is easier. And yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that traumatizing as uh, as Michigan's was. So maybe I'm more I'm more experienced. I know how to play the game. I know the cues to look forward to. I know that if I just gun it, I'm probably going to flip over. <laughs> so I'm I'm a more seasoned player. Anyways. Let's get these back on the right map. <clears throat> I 
There we go. All right. Uh, we could. Let's see. Where Where do we need to go? The tr garage is right there, so we can always sell that trailer back with no problems. We gotta go all the way down here. So. Hmm. This way is an absolute mess. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just back up. Uh, you know what? Did I make that turn? No, probably not. Hope I'm not making a mistake by trying to turn around here. There we go, some headlights. That would help. Alright, I do find it really annoying <laughs> that that's where the uh, the entrance is to the map and they, they start you way out in front of it where I have to do things like this and turn around. It's just, I, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Call me old fashioned, call me an angry old man. I don't know. It just, I'd prefer if they dropped me off and then I had the choice of going left or right. <clears throat> Let's try high gear. That's, uh, that's doing pretty well. I like that. Oh, yay, we got stuck. On a tree. <laughs> Alright, maybe... First of all, let's, uh, let's skip to morning. Even though it's not much better. I can't wait till we get to an area where morning is bright and the day is long and... And... And I know there's a third one, I just can't think of it. <laughs> uh, and there's no fog. That's that's probably what it was. I don't know what it is, but the fog has been getting to me lately. Oh, let's go into the low bus. Come on, tree break. I know it's just that you could you could just see it there on the other side of the trailer. Just a stupid little tree laying on the ground. That apparently is really strong. <laughs> I, I feel like those those trees should have, you know, probably not be so difficult to get through. But luckily, if you have a winch point, you can just sit there and winch on it. And it usually, usually breaks. If it doesn't, try backing up and then uh, driving forward again, or even before you even get to it, winch on it until you can either move it or break it and have it disappear. Uh, because that is that is usually the best way to do it. I think we're going to go left. Yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to avoid that little mud puddle there. We should be able to go straight through. I'm going to stay way far to the left. Like, I kind of want to, there we go, connect to that. There. And now it's out of the way. It's it's nice that you, you hit them sometimes and they just fall off the map. They just disappear. Alright. Let's try to get through this mud. There is definitely something there. I don't remember if we get hung up on that. Looks like a giant log. Oh, we get, uh, yeah, we get to, uh, we get to use that for grip. Hopefully the trailer doesn't get hung up, because that's, that's another key aspect where it can suck having objects like that in the road, because the uh, trailer, this, this little thing on the back of the trailer, if I can show you. Uh, that thing right there, that bar that extends down, 
That loves to get snagged on things. Just loves it. Alright. Go back into auto. Uh, maybe high high gear? Yeah, let's go high gear. Uh, do we go? Yeah, I think we go right through here. We pass this little encampment. Maybe some smugglers were hanging out here. Who knows? So far, so good. Oh! <laughs> In typical fashion, the second I say things are going well, something happens. Now, usually, usually I, I roll over or get stuck. Uh, that time, I uh, I just stalled the engine, so it's fine. It's fine. That that I'll take that any day. I'll definitely take that over any day of rolling over. Come on. That's, this is a little stickler of a mud puddle. Come on. Guess I can help myself out. There we go. We go left. We go left, right? Uh, yes, we go left. <clears throat> go left, and then we go right. We zig, we zag. We do a triple axle backflip. And... And yeah. You know what? I just realized something. I really don't understand what a triple axle is. I think it's just when you spin three times. Um, and maybe have something to do. I don't know. I never watched ice skating. I, <laughs> I don't really know how they, uh, what they call things and, and what the meaning is behind them. But that would be my guess if I uh, was on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Sorry, I was trying to think of something a little bit more recent than Jeopardy. Although I guess Jeopardy is still technically recent. It's just obviously an older TV show. Anyways, uh, so we're almost there. Thank God, because I need to shut up now. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking a lot. <laughs> oh look, and I left, uh, I left the, the Dan just sitting here. So that's fun. I guess, uh, yeah. These, these trucks are pretty similar. It honestly looks like the Dan, besides the fact that they completely gutted the back of it. The chassis looks like they just replaced the wheels, took off the front wheel, and left the cab exactly where it's supposed to be. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Anyways, let's get this, uh, concrete slabs dropped off. We're making, uh, I'm assuming a pier. I guess we're doing some fishing. Um, I did not bring that many concrete slabs, nor were they that big. Why are they broken? You just built the thing. Why would you use broken piers? I, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, that was 8,250 bucks, so that's pretty nice. Uh, oh, we got a warehouse. Where's our warehouse? Is it this, this warehouse? 
What warehouse is it talking about? Because we technically had this warehouse open, did we not? Oh, this warehouse. I bet you it's this warehouse. Okay. Cool beans. Um, let's figure out what's our next task. Uh, we have nothing. Oops. Here I go, uh, forgetting the controls. So we have no task. Does that mean... Does that mean we're done with the task? I doubt it. Maybe in this map. Uh, so we still got one in this quarry. Uh, two in the quarry. One in Zimmergorsk. Zimmergorsk, which is where we're at. So we do have one, but we haven't opened it up yet. So that's the last one. The rift is all done. So I wonder... I wonder, wonder, wonder. Um, well, it looks like we're going to need two metal or two metal beams and one consumable, I think is what that is. I should really get a, a thesaurus of all the symbols and then I don't sound so stupid. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we got a trailer garage right there. Sweet. Well, this won't, uh, this won't take too long. Let's go drop these trailers off. Uh, let's, let's take a long drive off the short pier that we just built. Like, they didn't even finish building it. Like, why can't I not go this way and go up the hill? Why would you not finish it, guys? <laughs> what? Like, what was the point of building this and it not even be finished? Game developers, I don't know what you were thinking. Um, I get it if it's a destroyed here and, and, you know, we're not using it, but we fixed it. So why would you not fix the entire thing? Trailer, get out of my way. I'm coming through. I don't know. Anyways, we did it. Our job's done. We don't get paid to ask questions like that because that's way too far uh, up the chain of of people. We don't get paid that much, so it is it is definitely above our pay grade. <clears throat> so we're gonna not worry about it. What we are gonna worry about is trying to figure out how to get into the warehouse slash trailer area. I believe I probably should have went left when I went right. I possibly did this earlier, a couple episodes ago. And yeah, let's just crash right into there. All right, I believe, yes. We'll turn in here. Hmm. Is there an entrance on this side? could make one. Oops. Nope. Let's... There we go. We got 6600 bucks back. Not bad. We'll probably have to buy that exact trailer again. But for now... We'll just go with it. Uh, yeah, so there are no entrances. It's just the one. I'm going to attempt to make one here. Whether or not we can make that turn. I think we'll be okay. I think the Dan can handle it. Let's find out. So let's park the uh, as off here. That's a good spot for it. Stop engine. Uh, Dan, 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 Dan. See, does the Dan have a turning radius that's better? Oh! <laughs> oh! I like to cut things close. I mean, why not, right? I, I literally almost fell off the pier. Good thing, uh, good thing this thing has some solid brakes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so... Let's get this truck moving. 
It's pretty quick. I do have to say this. This the Dan does have speed over the Azov. I just don't know if it's better. I I think the developers kept most of these trucks pretty well matched. And they they kind of did it on purpose. Uh so it's it's literally comes down to preference. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's drop this off. There's there's twelve thousand dollars we just made, and the sawmill is over here. I wonder. We have a scout here. Do we have? We have gas. Okay, let's take the scout. Oh yeah. Oh boy, do we have gas? Let's take the scout over and uh, get that task and figure out what we need. I know we need metal beans, and I believe it was consumables, so... Ooh. Alright, we are pretty high up. <laughs> we've gotta, we've gotta drop quite a ways, so, uh... You know what, let's have some fun with it. If we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down swinging. Oh, please. Really? That was that was the most uneventful thing I think I've ever done. I launch myself off a cliff. I almost fall into uh, the river off a pier or the... I guess that's a lake, isn't it? Is that an ocean? What, are, what is this? They don't say what this body of water is. Anyways. Uh, and now I'm facing the wrong way. So let's, uh, let's try to go this way. Okay, well, we're just gonna go over that tree. Is it dumb not going back to the road? Probably. As of right now, I can weave my way through these trees. <clears throat> Ooh, look, uh, what looks like a really old trail. There's a house. There's stumps. Of course there's stumps. There's always stumps. Stumps are probably never ever going away. Alright, come on, come on, let's go. I don't have much time left. I think I got about 15 minutes or so left. I would like to complete this task, but I think it's going to be a multi-parter. If I'm lucky, it's two metal beams are four slots and uh, the consumable is one, so I can get it all packed onto a trailer if those two items are close to each other. All right, good enough. Uh, let's accept this. Let's start tracking. I was oh man, it's oversized cargo. I was I was tricked. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much in the same boat that we just were in. Um, we need to pick up that from there and that from there. All right, so. I don't know why I sold the trailers. I really don't. Um, let's go ahead and jump in the Dan. We are going to slowly sink. So you do you do sink in this game. You just you don't sink like you do in expeditions. I I I, I hate to say it, but I like some of the things in expeditions. They just need to apply it to a game like this. And, and do away with the, the quote-unquote scouting. Um, but yes, uh, what was I doing? We need a trailer, don't we? We need... We need a small trailer, don't we? We only need... No, it's four slots, isn't it? You know what? Let's just do it. We'll do the exact trailers that we just had. And 
and um, and uh, and yeah, we'll just sit here spinning our tires. Hey, that's why it was called spin tires, wasn't it? Because you get stuck in the mud and you just spin your tires. Hey, psh, psh. sorry, sorry, guys. I kind of kind of got that reference a long time ago. Um. But seriously, like, come on, let's go. You're supposed to be like one of the top tier trucks. All right, we're moving now. Are we getting close enough to to a winch point? I could just get the eyes off. There we go. Break loose. Break loose. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, that, uh, that was probably the most excitement you've guys seen all episode. But, uh, yeah, we're now, we're now moving, so <laughs> let's go get, I believe we're picking up our oversized cargo. Could be wrong, though. There, there's a good chance I am wrong. Just because that's that's the way it always seems to go. All right. Oh, turn. Oh, what? Why didn't that turn? Wow, that took forever to turn. Slow steering. All right. Let's. Uh, whoever designed this gate to get in here was uh, not thinking about semis, was it? Alright. Do, 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 do. Contest. You can just sit there. Get a tire in. Metal beans. Of course it's metal beans. See? I was right. Uh, Alright. So we will... Uh, yeah. Let's, let's just take the metal beans straight there. We will uh, then recover the Azoth. And, uh, which, which will take us back to the warehouse, or to the, uh, garage. And we can pick up the oversized cargo container and drag it over here. So yay! Everything is, uh, going smoothly to plan. Holy crap, that was deep. <laughs> does this thing have a snorkel on it? I don't think it does. I don't even know where the air intake is. Where's the exhaust? I guess it's underneath it. All right, let's uh, let's try to speed this up a little bit. Yep, that tree works just fine. The telephone pole would work even better. Although, again, here's another telephone pole without a winch point. They're, uh, they're really messing with me. Alright, let's attach to this side of the trailer. Should be able to get that point there. Sometimes it just takes so long. Come on. And there is strategy. Boom! Just like that, we're through. Wow. Maybe not just like that. I mean, it did. We did struggle to get there, and now apparently I can't drive straight. Must have been hitting oh, the uh, the vodka, those uh, fermented potatoes. They can really do a number on your driving ability. <laughs> Uh, it's never funny to laugh about, uh, drunk driving. Remember that, kids. Do not drink and drive. It's okay to drive, and it's okay to drink. It's never okay to drink and drive. Alright, where am I going before I get demonetized? Oh, wait, I'm not yet. Sorry. We're working on that though, guys. We're working on it. We're uh, not quite halfway there, but you know, we're working on it. it Take some time. All 
All right, let's uh, drop those off. We can let's actually back up the uh, the Dan. We're going to get it out of the way for the first time in. I don't know. I always I always seem to leave them in the way. Uh, we are going to have to get all these vehicles out of here at one point. <laughs> but for now, we will stop it there. Uh, we will jump in the ads off. We will recover it. Leave the garage. We gotta go grab our trailer. Let's try not to scratch it because it's a brand new paint job. We've got three wipers. We've got what looks like some type of hawk or eagle. Hey look, it's hawk two. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Hawk two? Anyways. That's one of my uh, inappropriate jokes. Uh, which is kind of funny because, yeah, anyway. I, I had no clue that this was attributes. <laughs> uh, somebody's going to tell me those are falcons. That's not funny. You know what? Falcons, fox, eagles. They're all big birds. I mean, maybe not the uh, falcons because I think those are small. I think falcons are small birds, aren't they? But they're still kind of, they, they all look the same. All right. <clears throat> In my eyes, we can group them all together as birds of pred, er, yeah, birds of, no, predator birds, birds of predators. I know it's not birds of prey because, wait, is it birds of prey? Oh man, I don't know anymore. Guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm losing my mind. All right, so we got to go all the way over here. That looks like fun. Do I? And the answer is no, I don't. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is go this way. And hopefully get there. Let's uh Let's go see what I can do. <laughs> I think the only issue is getting across the river, but I believe this truck can do it no problem. So That's probably going to be our hardest uh our hardest challenge on this map. And hopefully I don't roll over. Go this way. Go try to go around this dump. Take a quick dip. Try to winch through this too because we're going to need it. Come on, ah, we're moving. Stupid engine. <laughs> it gave out on us. Come on. Try to go up this way. That's better. Now we're not in that uh, deep little puddle. And that tree's not really going to help us at all. They definitely could have added a lot more. Uh, trees to give us some grip. Once we get up to the top here.
All right, I think up here is a good spot to uh, call it an episode. <clears throat> we should be pretty, uh, pretty solid. This is the last task in Zimmercourse, so that's always a bonus. Oops. Yeah, that's a good spot where we stalled it. All right, let's go ahead and stop the engine. And uh, we got a little ways to go, not too much. And then we always have, uh, well, we have a lot of tasks to do still, so. But we're, we're whittling it down. I, I think maybe, maybe by month's end, we will be in our first, I don't even know where it is. What's the next map? <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, in Kola Peninsula, of all places. Um. Yeah, the first expansion and then we have the Yukon and then we have Wisconsin and then we have Amir, 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 something like that. Somebody let me know. And uh, we have Dawn, we have Maine, we have Tennessee, the Glades. I was just in Tennessee and yeah, so I will, uh, I will, uh, yeah, be lo looking forward to going to the Kola Peninsula and checking that out for the first time. Uh, cause I've never seen it, never been there, never even looked at a map, nothing. Uh, so I will, uh, look forward to that, but that's, that's probably about a month away, unfortunately. But, uh, anyways, let me know how you guys like this episode. Please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.